just in case anybody wanted to call me a liar. Ryan Ham here, and what you see in front of you is a set of barrels off of various shotguns. And these barrels uh, are actually the stubs from the end of shotguns that I have cut off. I've shown you previous videos where I kind of describe my process for cutting barrels. And uh, I, I think I have a, a technique that I've never seen anybody use before, and I just wanted to uh, let you in on it um, in case you ever come across this situation while you're cutting a barrel. This is also uh, pretty informative because I've got three different type of vent ribs here. Here is a Winchester, and uh, notice how the Winchester kind of comes to the end of the muzzle but then angles backwards. Essentially that is what the way the factory finished off the Winchester Model 1200, 120, this is off of a Model 120. Then we have a Remington 870. And notice how the vent rib doesn't come to the end of the barrel. It stops short of the end of the barrel and then they dress off the vent rib so that uh, it, uh, it, looks, uh, it looks pretty good. It, it, it mean it, the barrel sticks out just a little bit so the rib isn't catching on anything and it makes it kind of nice. The third gun I have here is a Mossberg 500 and you see Mossberg has done something real similar and they have cut the rib off short of the muzzle and that just makes it look cleaner that's kind of the style that people go with so when you cut off a barrel and here's a barrel that I've cut off at a little under 12 and a quarter inches uh, this is for a short barrel shotgun don't everybody get your panties in an uproar I paid my two hundred dollars and got approval from the Bureau of Alcohol Tobacco Tobacco and um, F something rathers <laughs> they gave me permission to cut this barrel off short. But look how ugly that looks when I cut it to what would be the end of the magazine tube with the barrel nut installed. Uh, and the reason I cut it there was because that's uh, I wanted it to extend far enough out that I wouldn't get fouling all over the uh, magazine tube and, uh, and nut end uh, and, and kind of make it look good. I installed a bead there uh, back right behind the end of the rib as you can see. Uh, drilled, tapped, installed with uh, Loctite so it shouldn't come loose. And But I'm stuck with this ugly rib that sticks out further than a factory rib. Well, you could file on it, but the, tr the problem is that your file is going to hit the muzzle and it, it's going to tear uh, everything up back to there. You could put it on a grinder, and I've done that in the past. I've very carefully put it on a grinder and, and ground that away. But... Uh, I mean, I'm still always worried about hitting the barrel. So what I usually do is I put several layers of tape. Well, I discovered uh, about a year back when I was uh, trying to find a cheaper way to uh, do a fixed barrel spacer for my Silencer Co. Octane Suppressor that these exist. And uh, this one's been modified. It started out like this. Uh, it is a copper union. Uh, meant to go over the two ends of copper pipe and then you just uh, sweat it closed. I believe it's three quarter inch or one inch, uh, but it's whatever size fits and it almost fits over the end of the muzzle. And so what I did was cut a, with a hacksaw, cut a slot in it so that way, and it's malleable enough that you could pry it open slightly and fit it over the end of the barrel. And once fitted over the end of the barrel, it acts as basically something that you can file against and it won't hurt anything as you file it down. Uh, I'm going to start out by grinding it down and, uh, and then we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. You should put some sort of a lubricant over the uh, muzzle too to, to keep it from scratching. Yeah, copper won't scratch steel, but if there's stuff embedded in the copper, like little bits of uh, steel or grits or grains, it's still gonna it's still gonna mess up your finish a little bit. We'll be back in a minute. I'll I'll show you what the end product looks like. And as you can see, we are finished now, and it only took about 15-20 uh, minutes. And as you can see, I took some cues from the Winchester. That little 30 to 45 degree cut on the Winchester Model 120 there. I kind of half duplicated that and half duplicated the original um, straight so since the rib is higher at this point of the barrel it's straight for a little bit and then it's angled back and I kind of smoothed all that out so that it looks I, I think it looks kind of good I, uh, 
I've been doing this for a while. I've been doing them this way for a little while now, and uh, these are just a few of the barrels. I, I've got a, I've got a ton of cut off barrels, and for the most part, I cut them off for uh, for this reason. You can see this one came without a choke tube, and the front is kind of dinged up. And uh, it, when I shortened it, of course, I shortened it. If you can see the spacing on the ribs here, I shortened it the same amount uh, so that it leaves a little bit of rib sticking out the front there so you could dress it up later. And uh, I think the results kind of speak for themselves. Now it's not perfection. A similar trim and cut job to what the factory gives you instead of what uh, what Ryan Ham gunsmithing gets you. And it's similar enough that I'm happy and it will go bang when I pull the trigger. You notice it sticks out yeah, a similar amount. We'll match those up a little bit and see how close we got. Uh, I couldn't get it perfect here, so it does the barrel does stick out a little bit further. Now this particular barrel goes on my Form 1 Remington Sportsman 870 uh, short barrel shotgun. And that shotgun itself will be going to get choke tubes installed and you'll see it probably in the future. With a, a piece of tubing like this, uh, sacrificial, you can avoid damage to your barrel. Not perfection, but it's a good way to, to uh, trim your rib back and give you a more professional uh, factory style look than the other way of doing it. So Ryan Ham, I enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please click like. And if you want to see more like it, please click subscribe. Feel free to share it or comment on it if you'd like. Goodbye.